Hello, and welcome to Rip's Kits. As you can see from the uh, shaky camera that I'm holding, we have an American La France Aero Cheap 1000 on the desk. Um, this was a kit my father built in the 80s. I'm not sure if that's when the kit actually came out, but that's when he built it. Now, the thing is, this is not going to be my build. Um, what I'll tell you to do here is rebuild it. And this is what I'll show you in a moment. Like in a gazillion pieces. So it's all got to go back together. Totally took it apart. And there's a bit of restoration. Massive bit of restoration to go on. And I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Okay, so there it is. Like I said, it's basically a gazillion pieces. Uh, where do I start? In this pot, there is loads and loads of tiny little bits, door handles, something that's part of them, lights, maybe, I don't know, these are obviously bars for the boom when it goes up, hydraulic ram, sorry the jack, this is, um, Bumper with a bell, and its side windows, front window, um, part of this, um, checker plate, and there's lighting there, there's a blue light there for some unknown reason, I don't think it's part of this kit. Wall checker plate, and our wing mirrors. Really don't know what that is. Uh, spotlight handles, front lights, uh, uh, indicators. Yeah, there's like a gazillion pieces in that tiny little box there. Uh, this is clearly a uh, ladder rack of some sort, which is right there somewhere. Uh, let's start with the table system. So we need to find a way of getting that back on. Um, here's the water jet. Um, right here. There's a big ram. Here's the Here's this. it's big. Do this in the camera, it's big. There's the main boom with the water pipe. Um, really opens up, it's huge. Um, the only good thing I suppose about this kit these out of the way as well. And all different types of ladder, small, medium and large. They might go on the deck somewhere. Uh, the good thing I suppose he left that is he didn't strip down the chassis. I didn't fancy putting all that back together. Um, we haven't done too bad a job on there, but there you go, that's the way it is. Good enough for me, the chassis is all still in one piece. Um, we might do a little bit. Yeah, probably not going to see it anyway. So, one piece, which is cool. Let me just go there for a sec. Um, I've got the thing wrapped in the by the sound of it, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, well, the cab comes, the cab comes off, so that's not a problem. 
Um, looked like he's already sprayed the decals. The old cab by the look of it. Pretty clear. Uh, okay, we'll take a look at see if we can get that down. Um fire cabins in one piece. Well, okay, so there's a window that goes in there somewhere. We've got a seat here. Uh, the deck looks too bad. There should be two of those. I saw earlier, so we'll put this right in over here. Okay. Um, Guessing that is hydraulic ram. Nothing to do with that. By the fact there's holes here. Uh, that potentially is what goes in the back of there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep, so I've got rams going in the back. Uh, silver fingerprints. Um, yeah, so this is. Uh, <clears throat> I'll say it. This is my next project together American Law of France Aero Chief thousand that my dad built and for some unknown reason took apart decided to do a display. Um there is one good thing that comes out of this and is the fact that in the box, not that you can see it again, because I'm off camera this moment, but I will open it up. Anyway, in the box, he has kept the instruction. That's going to make it coming together a little bit easier. I'm not working blind. Um, also, in the box, um, we have, on the look of it, some air parts, air chrome. Um, or, or spare chrome. Um, there's also ink and air tanks, air compressor lines and things like that in there. Um, lots of different style of platform and that. There's plenty of spares in this box. Um, we do have not the only two own wheels. One wheel here. Got the tires. Some are funky. And we have most of the decal sheet. That should um I'll bring this back life a little bit. So that's the next project, guys. Um, what can I say? But wish me luck, because some of it's going to need stripping, repainting. Could be fun. Um, okay, there's no best time now to get started. I suppose. Excuse me. I'm going to stop this video here and uh, not making headways on this for France.
bits and pieces. I probably need to order some a uh, styrene rod to replace. Uh, you can see it's the busted rod. Um, moment in time, thank you, modeling. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.